Hi there, welcome back and thanks for joining us here at Tech Scoop. Today I've got a special guest. It's one of our superstar project managers, Galvin Marquez. Uh, and I want to have a quick conversation this morning about Microsoft Teams and the advantages that we've seen here at TechWare after adopting Teams into our workplace. Thanks for joining us, Gal. Thanks, Trent. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Now, for the people out there who don't really know what Microsoft Teams is, they might not have heard about it, uh, can you just give us a brief description of what, what it is? Um, so Teams essentially is a collaborative platform. Um, it uh, utilizes you know, one-to-one -one chat with a, a team member or a group chat. Also utilizes uh, file sharing. Okay, so my first question uh, right off the bat, Gal, is the top three things that you've seen TechWare experience after introducing Microsoft Teams. All right, well, top three things easily got to be uh, staff buy-in, uh, information management, and for me personally, uh, easy access to my project files. Okay, so when, when, when you talk about staff buy-in, yep. can you just expand on that a little bit and tell us what you mean? All right, well, just like any you know new product that anyone's trying to implement, whether it be internally or externally, yeah. um, you've got to have staff buy-in. So that that means you know are they going to adopt the product that you're trying to implement well? Are they going to use it as it intended? Yeah. Um, and luckily for us, Teams has fit that bill. Mm -hmm. The reason why I think it's fit that bill is it's it feels fun. It feels just like a normal you know text message chat group or a Facebook Messenger or a WhatsApp Messenger. Um, so the interactions within Teams yeah. has been really quick and responsive and, and people enjoy using the product. Okay, so at Techware, the technicians and everyone uh, on staff, mm -hmm. they've adopted the technology? They Yeah, so everyone's on Teams um, yep. and everyone's, our main source of communication now is just Teams. Okay, fantastic. Now. The next thing that you touched upon was information management. Yeah. And that, that's a big factor or something somewhere we've seen success with Teams. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more? Sure. So information management, I guess for us, we were used to use WhatsApp as our primary source of communication. Mm -hmm. um, and that was fine to a sense, but then it started to get a bit spammy um, for our liking because we had social aspects in there and, and work aspects and you know, P1 incidents all meshed into that one group yeah. conversation. And you know, sometimes things would get missed, but, and then that made us prompt to move towards Teams. Um, and the benefits of that was we could now segregate those sections off in Teams in different chat groups. So okay. we've got a, you know, P1 incidents group, a, like a social channel, and a process and improvements channel. So, you know, that kind of stuff has helped us stay focused when yeah. need to, and you know, we can have fun in, in, in the same place without, you know, disrupting the main core core function of the business. Okay, so so within that functionality, with when you have a P1 group and an incident group and things like that, yep. are you separating members of staff depending on their, their credentials? So the beautiful thing about teams yeah. is that you can add or you not add people to certain group chats. Mm -hmm. um, so here at Techware, we've just taken the policy of everyone gets to be added to every chat. But yeah. you know, in other organisations, you might not want that. Um, you can separate it by, you know, organisation group, um, and so on and so forth. But the only the other key benefit for Teams is um, you can turn off notifications. Yeah. Like for example, if you don't want to hear what you're having all for dinner or you know, what's the next uh, social event happening, you can turn off the notifications for the social aspect and, and just stay focused in the business world. Okay, and the last one that you, you talked about, which, which was quite close to you yep. in being a project manager, was access or easy access to project files. Correct. So the great thing about Teams is Teams as a 365 product mm -hmm. integrates really well with any Office Office suite, so that includes SharePoint and Office 365 yep. products. So, look, I've created my own site or chats for each project that I run, mm -hmm. and then I connect uh, a, the relevant SharePoint site which has the project working documents inside it. Yeah. Um, and that way, I can you know send the working documents to my engineers and and to the customer and say, all right, we're all going to work through here. Mm. This is our main source of truth. Um, and, and gone over the days of us going, 
I send out an Excel document and call it version one and then send it off to the clients and the engineers and they get it back to me and then I'll collate it and then yeah. roll it up. We're now just one source of truth, one document, working file, and then I feel confident that mm. I'm communicating to the best of my ability, the most up-to-date information to my client and to my team. That's it, huh? So it, it's about speed because you're not doing the revisions, you're not doing that. There's nothing lost in communication between old and new documents. Correct. It's all in one place, ready to go. Yep. All sounds fantastic. Now, the question is for, not so much for me, but for the people out there uh, who hear this and they say, maybe this is something our organization's interested in. Yeah. Uh, what's the process of getting onto Microsoft team? Um, so we've, we're a Microsoft house, mm -hmm. so we're actually currently on Microsoft 365. So I guess the first step for, for anyone who's interested at looking into Teams is, are you, I guess, on a Microsoft 365 subscription? Yeah. And just check what level you are, because Teams does get bundled in with certain levels of uh, 365. Now, the three things you spoke about, buy-in, the information management and the easy access to project files for you. Yep. To me, uh, just having a chat with you, it, it seems like Microsoft Teams is, is like a portal where a user can go to get answers. Correct. Would you? I 100% agree because sometimes we're not all in the office. So, you know, we've got engineers going out on site. Yeah. I'm on project meetings with customers. And if someone wants to get a hold of me, that's the easiest way if yeah. you don't want to send them an email and wait for them to check their emails. Yeah. Most people just go in and go, hey, where are you or what are you doing? Um, I need some help on this. And they'll just pop up like a text message on your phone. Yeah. And then I'll go, hey, what's up? You know, how can I help you? Hey, Gal, thank you so much for joining me today. I, I really appreciate it. I'm sure the people out there appreciate it as well, getting your insight into how Microsoft Teams has helped us here at TechWare. Sure, anytime. Thanks, Gav, and thank you for watching as well. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.